The Clinical Investigation Center of the Kensway Hospital has a large platform of imaging systems comprising routine systems, more advanced systems such as adaptive optics, and we're even developing our own prototypic systems. Each of these systems is necessary to explore a specific compartment of eye diseases, and each patient may have a customized imaging procedure in order to better characterize its, its disease and its progression. And these examinations are very well tolerated because it's only infrared light, which is barely visible by the patient. It can even be done in, in children. Thanks to the different wavelength that can, we can use with this system, we can even detect the fluorescent pigments of the fundus, which is, for instance, very helpful in age-related macular degeneration, but also uh, retinal dystrophies. Optical coherence tomography is currently the most widely used imaging system. It's been a revolution in the, ten, in the past 10 years because it gives access to something that was completely unreachable a few years ago, that is the visualization of the retina itself. You can see in the most recent system that we can have access to the retinal layering it's itself. And then using the combination with SLO, we can have access, for instance, to 3D reconstruction of complex structures. This is of very great help for diseases such as retinitis pigmentosa, which affects a single layer, which that is the photoreceptors. And this is also important, for instance, for glaucoma, because we can reconstruct in three dimensions deep structures of the optic nerve, which are altered during glaucoma, and then we can follow progression of the disease, but even maybe better understand the actual cause of the glaucoma and of visual loss. Using adaptive optics, we can now explore the eye the same way that we explore the outer space. The adaptive optics imaging camera that we use in our clinical investigation center is very easy to use itself and it's also very comfortable for the patient. They only need a few seconds of fixation and then we obtain an image in less than 20 seconds. And this image allows a high resolution view of uh, many elements of the retina. And this already allowed us to identify new uh, pathological processes totally inaccessible to conventional imaging systems. And the scientific interest of the system is illustrated here. This video summarizes the 20 image of a patient of the same retinal area taking over two weeks, so the patient came every day. And we can observe something very interesting. You see this white spot here is probably a single cell so this measures one per one millimeter, and so this cell me measures several hundred microns, and we can see over time the change in the location of these cells. So this illustrates the mig migration of a single cell that can be detected using adaptive optics. We've been developing adaptive optics imaging technologies applied to the retina for some years now. Our collaboration started with the Observatoire de Meudon, who developed a prototype of adaptive optics imaging that was the first system to be used in Europe. And then this system was taken over by the ONERA, who pursued the development in order to implement other technologies, such as high-speed adaptive optics imaging. We also create new imaging technologies uh, based on holography. This technology is unique in the world. It makes use of a very, very fast crash test camera that would collect very few photons if used directly for direct imaging. But uh, thanks to holography, we can amplify the signal optically and record such images that will enable us to monitor blood flow on a very wide field of view and quantify it. Adaptive optics enables you to make images of the retina over a uh, field of view that is quite small. Here, with holography, you can have access to a larger field of view and an extremely high temporal resolution. And this technology will be used in order to monitor blood flow quantitatively 
into patients very, very soon.